Just gonna get some video of how calm Bo is. Hi, Bobo. Do you love being petted? Yes, you do. Are you being very calm? If it wasn't for the kitty cats, which we're still working on slowly, very, very slowly, I really practice what I preach about not rushing it with cats. Yes, you love a scratch. But if it wasn't, oh, he was calm. Maybe we were talking about cats and we saw one. Oh, <laughs> did you get playful? Did you get playful, silly goose? Yes, he's an escape artist. He wants to go through cracks, over gates. Yes, you do, don't you? Hey, he's a good boy. Um, can we get some food? I can't get him to eat tons. I need some like, wet food or something. I've tried to put a chicken in it. Um, try to put some gravy in it. Shall I heat you up a sausage? No, we're not going out there yet. We're practicing listening skills. But he does like, I make some a little bit of bone broth and um, then try and give him the bones because the frozen bones I bought, he's not like a huge fan of. And that should keep them occupied. That should be like a pacifier for kids, frozen bones. But he did like the juice, so I pour a little bit on there. He was eating loads, and then, I don't know, we went for a hike yesterday, and he hasn't really eaten a lot since, so, I don't know. We'll see. Maybe I'll get some cheese out. Are you a sniffer? But the barking's better. There was a time where he would not want to stop. Um, the escaping's better. He and Bay don't get on great and he kind of will push back but the good news is that the few times he's been told off even though he pushed back against Bay, see that's naughty, bow down and see how gently I tell him, bow down. I will, um, if he goes too much I'll get really up and loud but I'll be as gentle as I can and then I will use, I keep a roast chicken. That might be why he's not as hungry, because he knows the good stuff's coming. But I don't want him starving. He needs a lot of calories, this dog. Really does. I'm making such a mess. I've got cheese and chicken and stuff everywhere. Excuse me. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but I don't want to reward him from getting up first and then getting down. But unfortunately, that's just kind of the pattern you get uh, sometimes, because coming away is priceless. And as long as... He learns that coming away is good. And there's never any conflict. Like, I'm in a tight space. And the first day, I thought he was going to bite me over food because he's um, he feels pressure over food. So now I just I take something with food in it or something, give him something, and then I throw cheese or chicken in it. So I think I need Shelby to practice that. Like, um, instead of, like, she's doing food things, like, he needs to be, oh, good boy, very nice heel position. Can you sit? Practice your sit. Sometimes he does, sometimes he doesn't. No, no. Sit. Come here, baby. Sit. We are in a tight space. Good boy. There you go. And then I just practice dropping them in whichever food bowl I can because I think it's really important to practice sharing resources with him. That's one of the most important things I work on. Um, but yeah, he's been really calm. It, it took a minute. The first two days I wanted to kill Caleb. I'll uh, kill you, Caleb, because he was awful and I didn't get any sleep. And no sleep sucks. He doesn't share resources with other dogs. Um, I like food. Um, but he's getting better. He obviously loves Meredith and she'll always have a like a really big place. But he's, he's a strong-willed dog, so we'll see. But uh, yeah, it's going really well so far. Hi, buddy. He's listening um, without me having to force. Like I said, first two days, I would yell because he was scratching stuff. Um, and we weren't close, but like we've really gotten close now. He loves men. He loved Andrew. And I can see how much he loves Kayla, but he just like instantly loves men. Women need to do more trust building with him, so I'm working really hard to make sure he trusts me. Um, but yeah, he's a sweet boy. He likes that bone broth. I may have to go make him more.